everybody this is Uri welcome to another tutorial today I'm going to show you how to apply the dispersion effect to a watercolor butterfly in this tutorial we are going to be using brushes that you already have in your procreate brush library so there's no need to buy anything to follow this tutorial let's begin by opening a new canvas and I'm gonna choose the screen size and this will give me a total of 72 layers and that is plenty for this project so on the very first layer i'm going to have my sketch remember to lower the opacity on this layer and also lock the layer so that you don't end up painting on it by mistake once you have the butterfly on the first layer and it's locked Go ahead and add a new layer. And in today's project, I'm gonna be using three brushes that you already have in your Procreate brush library. So you can definitely do this project without buying any brushes. But before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what are the three brushes you already have in your library and we are gonna be using today. So the first one's gonna to be to fill in the, the colors of the butterfly. And you can find that one in the artistic brushes right here and it's called the wild light that's the first brush we're going to use the second one we're going to be needing a brush for the edges of the butterflies this is to give it a closer look to real watercolor and you can find this brush under the water category down here and the name is wet glaze that's the brush we're going to be using for the edges and the brush we are going to be using for the dispersion effect is under organic, under the organic category, and the name is Snow Gum. And finally, we're gonna add a border at the end. You go back under the water category, and it's gonna be the wet sponge. So those are the brushes we're gonna be using today. So to make it easier for us later to work on the edges, I'm gonna go ahead and separate the top wings on a layer and the bottom wings on another layer. And then I'm gonna put all the small little shapes in a separate layer. All right, so go ahead and have it layer ready for the top wings and you are going to the artistic category and selecting the wild light brush. If you would like to use the same colors as me, I'm going to go ahead and share the hexacodes on the screen or you can use your own colors. Now go ahead and open a new layer for the bottom wings and fill that in. All right, now let's go ahead and open a new layer for the middle. We're still using the same color. All right, now it's time to color the small shapes inside the butterfly. And for that, I'm gonna use a new layer, of course. And I'm gonna change the color to this pretty purple right here. I'm gonna be putting the code on the screen. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the brush small because I wanna keep the shapes independent from each other. And then for the small shapes on the bottom wing, we're gonna go ahead and open a new layer. And for that, I'm going to use this 
pretty minty color. Alright, go ahead and finish the other wing. And this is looking pretty. And while you are on this layer, go ahead and do the antlers. I'm going to go ahead and just choose an inking brush. All right. And now it's time to add the edges. And for that, we are going to use the wet glaze brush. And you can find that in the water category down here. The wet glaze right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a clipping mask on top of each layer. Add a layer, turn it into a clipping mask, and set that layer to darken. And this is the color I am using for the butterfly wings. For the first color we use, it's slightly a darker pink than the first one we used because the borders are going to be darker than the rest. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna get this a little bigger, maybe like eight, nine percent, and go out here and start darkening the edges. And that's this is the reason why we put everything in different in separate layers. So that I wouldn't like you can actually go to the border here, but do more the outside of the wing. If you lift the pencil and put it back down, it'll make it even darker. And I like to do that sometimes. All right, and the next thing you're going to do while you are on that clipping mask layer, you are going to tap here on the, on the adjustments tool and choose Gaussian Blur and bring it up to about 7%, 7 or 8%, right there is good. All right, and that's what you're doing with all the layers. Now go to the next one, add a mask, turn it into a clipping mask, set to darken, and go over the borders of the bottom wings with this color. And this, what this is doing is giving it a more watercolor look. Do the same with the other one. All right, and then Gaussian Blur on the Adjustments tools. Bring it to about seven or eight. That's good, perfect. Go to the next one. This will be the middle. Add a clipping mask. Turn to darken. And zoom in here. I don't want this to be too big. I'm gonna keep that one small. Go over the borders. Remember these watercolor brushes, they let you build up. And that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Gaussian Blur. And let me see. Maybe about six on that. Looks good. All right. Let's go to the small shapes on the top wings. Add a clipping mask. Set it to darken. And we are going to change the color 
to this beautiful dark purple. The color is going, the code is going to be on the screen. And I'm going to do something different for the inside shapes of the butterfly. Instead of going around or all the edges like I did with the wings, I'm going to go ahead and just do the top. And for this, I am going several times because I want it to, to look darker. I'm gonna make this smaller for a small shape. All right, and once you got it like that, go to the Gaussian Blur and do over here only about maybe like a 4%. Because you still want to see, you don't want to blend that too much. You still want to see like the difference of the borders, and the wings. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the small shapes on the bottom wings of the butterfly. Add a mask, turn it into a clipping mask and set it to darken. and change the color to this beautiful dark minty green and I'm going to do the same with these shapes over here Now go to Gaussian Blur and set that to about 3-4% is good. I'm going back over really close to the border on the bottom wings, small shapes. And I like that. All right, so we, once you are done filling in the butterfly, go ahead and merge each layer with its clipping mask. All right, and then you can go ahead and merge the butterfly. And now you have the whole butterfly on one layer. So the next thing I'm going to do is my favorite part, the dispersion effect on this beautiful watercolor butterfly. Well, before we jump into the last part, remember, if you are interested in learning more Procreate tips and tutorials, be sure to check out my channel and watch other helpful tutorials at the link in the description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like and share these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this butterfly layer twice. So you should have three. We are only using these two. The first one is a backup layer. You are going to unselect and lock. So that layer is not there no more. Next, you're going to tap on the first layer and put a mask over that layer. This mask that you're putting over the layer will reveal anything you paint on white and hide anything you paint on black. So pure white will reveal and pure black will hide. So what you hear, you will go ahead. We want to hide some parts of the wings to make it look like some part of the wings are dispersing. Select the brush. The name of this brush is No Gum and it's under organic brushes. It's right there. Select that. The size, you don't want it to be maybe like a 5% and this brush react depending on how much you press the pencil. So if you put pressure on the pencil, it's going to be bigger. And if you put light pressure on the pencil, the little leaves are going to be slower, the little pieces. 
So we are on this layer. And we're gonna select the color black. Remember, black will hide and white will reveal. So go over the wings. I'm gonna unselect this butterfly. That way you can see it better. And you can go ahead and put some pressure sometimes. And this is taking away some of the wing because you have a mask over this layer. All right, so that's the part for the wings. Now you are going to the next layer. This layer, before we put a mask on it, we're gonna go ahead and stretch it out with the liquify tool. You're gonna go ahead and turn that and set a mask over that layer. And you are going to drag the color black over the whole layer. Remember, the color black hide and the white reveal. So you are hiding that butterfly that we stretched out over the screen. What you're going to do now is select pure white. And you will go outside the butterfly with the same brush. There's no gum on the organic category and start revealing some of those pieces. And make it look like the butterfly is dispersing away. All right, so the butterfly is done. It's beautiful. Now let's go ahead and add a frame around this. And I will go to the water category and select wet sponge and change my color to this very light pink right here. Remember to first add a new layer, then you can change the color. And go gently over the borders. It's going to give you some beautiful watercolor borders to your art. And I'm going to go ahead and put this layer on the bottom of my butterfly. That way the little pieces are on top of the layer. So I duplicated my border to make it slightly darker. And the last thing I'm going to do here is add a texture over this so it looks like real watercolor art. And I already copied my layer. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here. Stretch it over my canvas. And set the layer to linear burn. And as you can see, they have a beautiful texture and it looks like a real watercolor art. And isn't it so wonderful that you already have these brushes in your Procreate brush library.